So it's Monday the 1st of June 2020 and I've started a brand new project and basically I'm creating a white peacock which will adorn the staircase um, in my home and uh, this diagonal line is where the stairs are so it's going upwards and my plan is to use a little pop of ready-mades these I got from eBay um, lovely delightful shapes and sizes and I've just done a little rough play and a map out of some patterns and designs that I might use. It's all open to interpretation at the moment, but uh, I'm also using Nuzzer Eyes as well to give it that white peacock effect. Um, I've done the drawing of the peacock itself, and my intention is to use some gorgeous ceramics, so a little bit of Picassiette-esqueness. So I'm going to use a little bit of white and gold plates there. Um, the background, I'm thinking I'm going to use blue and white crockery, like willow crockery. As you can see, I've got a few, so I'm intending to use that. When you sum up, actually it won't probably be a lot, but uh, we'll see what the plans are, because I'm very excited at this stage. Like I say, I've mapped out some lines, so you never know where it will be heading. So, yeah, hope you find these videos helpful to enthuse you in our lockdown and also get you going on your own projects. See you soon. Bye. Wednesday the 10th of June 2020 and here's the work so far on my peacock. So I have completed the peacock body with plates and mirrors, there's some mirrors there and some crockery as well and it's beautifully sparkly. I've used Nuzzer Eye from Turkey I've used little ceramic pieces and embellishments and now I'm figuring out what to do with the feathers. Now my little sketch plan is to have flowing lines now. I think straight lines uh, look a bit stiff. <laughs> so I'm going to be figuring out how to do the flowing lines even though I've got this drawn up and these sketched out. Um, these might change, which is a good thing about not having a fixed idea right from the start. It gives a little bit more life. So what I'm doing now is shaping and cutting ceramic tile. And as it's indoors, it's an indoor tile, so that's absolutely fine. Um, and I, I've got a pile of tiles. Got two different kinds of white. I've got a matte white and a glossy one and two different kinds of creams. This is a, a matte textured cream and this is a speckled cream. And the plan is to use, this as my template for one direction and then I'll turn it over and use it for the cream side. So it has a nice 
opposite flow. So what I'm going to do is use my scorer, glass scorer, and then I'm going to snap it with my ruby score snapper. And then if I need to, I can shape them. So that's the next plan. So I'm going to make a whole load of shapes for these. And it might be that I decide to use two different sizes of feathers for this. So perhaps halfway through, I might make them slightly smaller so that they can intermingle and overlap. So that's the plan so far. So I thought I'd show you how I cut my shapes for the feathers, the peacock feathers. So what I do with, what I do first is uh, use just an ordinary bathroom kitchen tile and I will use the shape as a template so I'd get a nice thin pen not a permanent pen, something they could rub off. I use my Toyo glass scorer and very carefully follow the drawing line. And then using the score snapper, let's do it the other direction, I'd hold tile and making sure that that line follows the line, the drawing line and give it a squeeze. That's a bit of luck, but it does work out well if you score very deeply on the, on the tile so that it will come up in one piece. So that's the rough shape and now what I do is over the dustbin but I won't do it in front of the dustbin for this filmer. So that's that's the shape. So these shapes will then be used for the peacock feathers so there you go so that's the next stage and I'll be doing a load of cream and white peacock feathers for this